right yeah this is a paypal we're back onto the paypals now but this is a paypal from nancy there's actually a few coming today from nancy but yeah this one i picked first uh john mail and the blues breakers now john mail is he's gotta be the the mothership that spawned a lot of great guitar players one being my favorite peter green i know peter green come through and it was actually john mail who bought peter green studio time where she, he recorded the supernatural um but yeah john mayo and the blues breakers with gary moore so many roads let's go Thank <laughs> you. 
listening to that because i've not listened to a, a great deal like like i say i know john mayle because of peter green i which is kind of the reverse way around i think for the rest of the world but i've not gone crazy deep into john mayle he's got a great voice and hearing him i can hear so much where peter green has took Especially the Peter Green after, like, is it the Sprinter Group? The Peter Green after he went crazy and went in a mental hospital. Like when he come out, his band sounds very, very similar to John Mayall, to John Mayall and the Blues Breakers. Yeah, but that was incredible. And the best bit, the thing I've loved most, I think, about that. Not the not the solos, not the song, not his voice, was the fact that John Mayall kind of looked over at them two and kind of just went, <laughs> which one, which one do you decide, do you know what I mean? Like, that was just great. That was great. Like, you two take your pick, knock yourselves out. I love that. But yeah, 
both solos was incredible and different. It shows you how like that the um the canvas of blues really is the greatest thing for guitar playing. It really is like you can do so much with blues with that blues backdrop. Yeah. But yeah, that was fire. Definitely, we got to do more John Mayall, because I can say it. I'm aware, because I know Eric Clapton, Eric, because I know Eric Clapton was the one before Peter Green, because I'm sure it's John Mayall that tells the story that when, in one of Peter Green's first gigs with the Blues Breakers, they was walking through the crowd to get onto the stage, and someone just punched Peter Green straight in the face, because people loved Eric Clapton. But John Mayall, and it was clapped in his God. And, but John Mayall said that the crowd felt like that until they heard Peter play. And, he's like, and then it was Peter Green, his God. Right. Yeah. Which, in my yeah, personal opinion, Peter Green is a whole different level to Eric. I mean, Eric Clapton's great, but Peter Green is special. Like, there's just a specialness about him and the way he plays, especially, before, like I say, before he went nuts. Outsold the Beatles and the Rolling Stones one year, I think 67. Peter Green outsold both of them, which... People claim that, have claimed that, like, oh, we've sold more than the Beatles. That still seems to be, like, a thing that fans cling to. But you've got to think that you're selling records now, and it's a whole different business to what it was back in the 60s. Like, you're talking about a time where you would have to order things and wait for them to turn up, and, do you know what I mean? People just... But the fact that whilst the Beatles and the Stones was still going and in their prime, well, although the prime Rolling Stones, I don't think, was re musically really till the 70s, but they was up there, um, f like, fame-wise and recognition-wise, and yeah, Peter Green outsold both of them. But yeah, no, that was incredible. Great performance. And like I say... I'm, I was really impressed with John Mayall's voice. I do believe Nancy said as well that he's 90 now. And you think, like I say, a lot of guitar players come through him. That his band was almost like... It was almost like... Um, before the internet... And... All of that, you had John Mayall and the Blues Breakers to who was going to be the next guitar player. But yeah, no, that was fire. Great request. But yeah, that's the reaction. So we 